Okay, next up we have use a sum or difference identity to find the exact value of sine of 255 degrees. In order to do this, we're going to use the sine sum formula, which states that the sine of parentheses a plus b equals the sine of a times the cosine of b plus cosine of a times the sine of b. And we're going to make use of our unit circle, which is over here. Now, what we're going to do with the unit circle is, uh, first off, you should notice that 255 degrees is not on the unit circle. It's not one of the specified angles that we have on the unit circle. So what we need to do is find two angles that either add up to or subtract to get 255 degrees. What we're going to find, uh, use, are two angles whose sum is 255 degrees. And let's use 210 degrees, which should actually be here, 210 degrees and 45 degrees, because 210 degrees plus 45 degrees is 255 degrees. So the first thing we'll do is rewrite sine of 255 degrees as the sine of 210 degrees plus 45 degrees. Now, like I said, we're going to use the sum formula for sine. The letter A in the sum formula is going to represent the first angle. And our first angle is 200 10 degrees. The letter B will represent our second angle, and our second angle is 45 degrees. So what the sine sum formula says is that the sine of the first times the cosine of the second plus the cosine of the first times the sine of the second equals the sine of the sum of the angles. So let's write this in. The sine of the first is going to be the sine of 210 degrees because we just said that 210 degrees is our first angle times the cosine of the second angle. So that would be the cosine of 45 degrees plus the cosine of the first angle, which would be the cosine of 210 degrees times the sine of the second angle, which would be the sine of 45 degrees. Now, these values we're all going to get from the unit circle. Sine is always the y value of the coordinate and cosine is the x value of the coordinate. So first, let's go to 210 degrees, which like I said is right here. It's the same thing as 7 pi over 6. The y value there is negative 1 half. So instead of sine of 210 degrees, we are going to write negative 1 half. Cosine of 45 degrees, let's go here to 45 degrees, and the x value is radical 2 over 2. Plus the cosine of 210 degrees, we go to 210 degrees once again, we look at the x value, and what we get is negative radical 3 over 2. Sine of 45 degrees, we go to 45 degrees, look at the y value, which for 45 is the same as the x value, radical 2 over 2. Now, we simply multiply straight across. Negative 1 half times radical 2 over 2 is negative radical 2 over 4. Negative radical 3 over 2 times negative radical 2 over 2 gets us negative radical 6 over 4. Now it's acceptable to leave our answer like this or we can combine, since the denominators are the same, we can combine the numerators. So we can write negative radical 2 minus radical 6 over 4. 
either one of these two formats would be acceptable.